Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, following the last Bane Metal video I did and the amount of comments I got and the suggestions, I thought, well, it'd be rude not to jump back in and listen to what you guys are talking about. The most, by far and away, the most recommended was Rondo of Nightmare Live at the Budokan Black Knight. So this is the one I picked. I asked for frantic guitar solos and a bit more from the band and this is what you guys have said to, to watch. I've waited a week and a half to watch this. Um, I really wanted to watch it, but I want to watch it with you guys first. The f when I watched Oblivion, it blew me the flipping heck away. So I am really expecting you guys to suggest something good here, and I hope it's as good as you're all saying. Um, I want to be blown away even more than I was last time. So, Baby Metal, Rondo of Nightmare Live, Buddha Clank at Black Knight. the drums again. Lovely. Double kick's amazing. ESP, nice. We're st yeah, there we go. So we've got seven string ESP. <laughs> They're just nuts, these guys. Nice looking guitar too. Okay, we've got another ESP as well, so they're both using ESP. Nice. Great run there. Looks like from the 12th fret down, he's got a uh, scallop fretboard. I like that, it's pretty cool. The guitar's look lovely. I like the other one as well, the seventh string. I don't know what, how many strings this has got. Uh, two, two, three. So he's playing a six string and he's playing a seven string. I think. Okay. Great tone. <laughs> what a run. That's class. That is good for anyone. That that would make Betancourt and Malmsteen proud. Wow. Six string bass, got a six string bass as well. <laughs> These guys are insane. I mean, this is ace. This is like Dragon Force times ten. Love it. I bet the bass player gets a certain. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Size that bass. <laughs> Billy Sheehan, eat your heart out. Wow. I'm only joking, Billy Sheehan. You know you're the best bass player around. The drum is really nice and tight. Just that with the double kicks. <laughs> that is 
fire. Oh, it looks like that bit again. Shit. Love the set as well. <laughs> Looks phenomenal. It's taking my breath away again. I didn't think the musicians were going to be this good. I mean, that guy played like Malmsteen or Buckethead, and so did the other guy. The bass player was like Billy Sheehan, and the drummer reminded me a bit of like Joey Jordanson and Weinberg, and yeah, fucking hell. Oh, grab it now. sometimes when you don't know what they're singing about to to really sort of critique their vocals but she just sounds on point she's been tuned with the band her delivery is perfect it's, it's so watch this sort of thing is so weird to me because you know I, i'd say i'm a classic rock veteran i've got you know i've listened to thousands of albums own thousands of albums um you know there's not much that i haven't heard out there you know there's the odd little bit here and there but normally a genre i don't miss a genre or there's something generally you can think oh well this is heavy metal but this sounds a lot like something this is just so out there and so crazy and i've had to wait now to watch this one with you guys i was waiting to watch everyone what they what you guys selected watch this one and now i'm just literally gonna plow through the catalog and see what i personally find the best but the guys that picked this one and the girls banging Heavy as well. The breaks remind me quite a lot of, like, Within Temptation, how they structure their songs, which is a really good thing. That's kind of the only sort of comparison I can make for it. But the band drops. Very, very beautiful high pitched vocal, lovely. Brother is on fire.
if I was to compare this to uh, the last track I looked at, this is very much more of the metal formula. Uh, the time changes, the time signatures, um, her vocal delivery with the musicians uh, and the musicians themselves. This feels more, not the other one felt a bit, um, the other one felt a lot more poppy, but the other one felt a little bit more, uh, gimmicky isn't the right word, a bit, I'm not sure how to phrase it, but this feels a bit more like this is their big, you know, child in time, stairway to heaven. I think someone actually said that on the comments. I might have just nicked what you said. Um, their big, big, big bombastic song. And again, don't know the rest, so I can't really tell. But this compared to the other one, this is next level shit. Straight up. Perfect. Possibly the best metal stroke, whatever you want to call this, performance I've seen in many, many years. And I th probably think since Megadeth came out with Dystopia, I think this might even top that. Amazing. It really is. Class. Class. She is class. That whole band is. I mean, gee, I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest with you. That was probably one of the best things I've seen since I can remember. Um, so, no. Yeah, I mean, I play the drums, I play the guitar. I'm a reasonable guitarist and an okay drummer. Those guys are A1 class. Those two guitarists could jump into Dragon Force, they could jump into Slipknot, they could go anywhere they wanted. They're that good. I had no idea the band was going to be even a tenth as good as they were. The drummer, I noted in the last video, but he stepped it up right there. He's, as a metal performance, all of them, and I'll say this, probably cough a bit of flack from it, not from the baby metal fans, as good a performance as I've ever seen in metal. There you go, I've said it. I enjoyed it that much, I thought it was that good. I'm definitely gonna go down the foxhole, or whatever you guys call it, I don't really know what you mean by that. Uh, I'm not sure, even sure if I wanna know what you mean by that, but um, absolute quality. She is a superstar. They are, and the musicians are just, for me, yeah, as good as I've ever seen. I thank you all for, um, you know, recommending this because this blew me away. I can't think, the guitarist was so good. I mean, and the fact that the bass player comes out with a six string bass, you've got a six string bass, you've got a six string guitar, you've got a seven string guitar, you've got a drummer, double key, almost like he had a third foot. It was flipping brilliant. Thank you very much for recommending that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you don't mind that I put another Baby Metal video up, but I had so many comments about the first one, about what to watch, and how much you enjoyed it. I thought, do you know what? I've got to do a few videos in between, like the Springsteen one and the Who Started Metal one, which, if you're watching this, I want you to have a little look at the Who Started Metal, just so it gets more views, and I want a big conversation about it. But I'm really glad you recommended this, and I'm, I hope you didn't mind me doing too. Thank you very much for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe. Put anything you'd like to talk about in the comment section below on this one. I'm now going to go away and I'm going to listen to a lot of baby metal. So over the next week or so, I'll be jumping in the comment section and telling you other stuff that I've listened to. And hopefully I find something that's as good as that again, because that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.